bird box. <laughs> Up next, let's go. What's up, y'all? You are now rocking with Brian's Code Science. I am Brian Gunn, and I'm sure you have all heard this by now. Bird box, bird box, bird box, bird box, man. Everybody has told me about this movie. Have you seen it? B, you checked out Bird Box yet? Hey, man, you got Netflix? Yeah, I got Netflix. Even though it's my mom's account, I got Netflix. Hey, who doesn't have? Hey, don't judge me. Anyway, I was late to the party, so I finally got a chance to check it out last night. Bird Box stars Sandra Bullock, Sarah Paulson, Travante Rhodes, Lil Rel, B.D. Wong, John Malkovich, and uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and uh, some other people whom I don't quite know, but it's cool because they were all in the movie. In Bird Box, Sandra Bullock plays Mallory. Mallory is, you know, your, your, your average person. She is sort of detached from, from the outside world. She's like an artist, okay? So she is heavily involved in her art. Well, there is a, an event that's going on in her life, so she actually goes to a hospital. Her sister is with her, played by Sarah Paulson. So her sister says, well, have you heard about what's going on overseas? Well, of course, Mallory hasn't heard anything because she's so enthralled in her work. They turn on the TV at the hospital and they see the news of this, just people are just committing mass suicides and no one knows why. I mean, they're committing suicides in droves. Tens of thousands of people overseas are doing this right now. In a couple of minutes, that takes place in the hospital, right where they are. Like someone starts really going crazy. So what you have after that is mass panic, mass panic. So now you have to understand what's going on and how they are trying to cope with this invisible entity that's, that's causing all of these people to commit mass suicides, all right? You come to realize that whatever this thing is, if you look at it, like if you open your eyes and look at it, you will kill yourself. Your ass is gonna die. Ain't no way around that, all right? You've probably seen similar movies to this, and I'll get into that in a second, but you ain't never seen no movie like this. First thing that jumps out at you immediately is the action. It's fast, it's furious, it's instantaneous. To see all of these bodies laying around and people just losing their minds, you have to understand, no one's ever seen anything like this before, all right? So there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of anger just emotions are flying around the place and the movie does a very good job of displaying what's going to happen in an apocalyptic event let me talk about the characters uh, uh, for a second because you have an eclectic bunch you have all of these people on the one roof and it's kind of yeah, crazy how they get there, but it can happen in a time like this, so I'll go with that. So on one end of the spectrum, you have B.D. Wong, all right? So his character is the pacifist, okay? So he tries to find a, a silver lining in all of this, in all of this mess that's going on, all right? You, you got this one dude that you can count on to give you some positive and uplifting things, <laughs> all right? Then on the other end of the spectrum, you have John Malkovich, his character, y'all, straight ass, point blank, ASS. He's that type of dude that you have at your job that says little smart things, 
condescending things and if you didn't have your like like your, your third write up you smack the sh you smack the shit out there motherfucker. that's how he is okay and you also have all of the other characters in the middle now everyone is panicking but there are different levels to the panic for instance Travante Rhodes he takes on he's calm but he sort of takes on the leadership role you can see that Sandra Bullock well she has just gone through an experience so her brain is like going a thousand miles an hour she doesn't know what's going on so to see all of these people interact with each other is very intriguing and it's going to keep you glued to the screen there is a lot of suspense in Bird Box I mean oh wow I didn't expect this movie to have this many oh don't do that don't do that to oh don't do that don't do that moments do you know like for a netflix film this was this is all right I, wow this <laughs> that's i'm glad y'all told me to watch this thing there are time shifts in this movie now the time shifts they work okay i was sort of apprehensive at first when i saw the time shifts occur you know uh in one scene they're years into the future and then it will jump back to the past to where you can understand what is going on uh, another good job with that most movies that have time shifts don't really do a, a good job so kudos to the director on that um, I was very surprised by this there are some things in this movie that sort of didn't make sense however in bird box if you're still around <laughs> when all of this devastation is is constantly going on i don't know if you want to consider yourself lucky or not your life as you know it is over it does a very masterful job of looking at how people now have to cope with pretty much not seeing like you can't see anything so how do I adjust you know there's a scene in the movie where some of the characters are forced to drive they have no other choice you can't look at anything but you gotta drive to get somewhere I'll say this thank God for technology but it's brilliant how that scene occurred okay there is something that I, I, I don't get and I need y'all to help me out with this okay you can't see anything or you you can't look at whatever this this thing is it's this entity is you can't look right or else you're gonna kill yourself so if you can't look at it can you at least look down can you you know focus your vision on this one particular thing and 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 move around and I say that because there are some people that are looking in this movie but I thought you couldn't look at you see it, it, it doesn't really the plot is fine but that is the biggest plot hole that Bird Box has and I don't want to say it hampers it but it just makes you think about well you know did anyone do doing the storyboard look at this you know so so help me out with that okay I've seen movies like A Quiet Place and Don't Breathe. So all of those have elements of your senses being taken away and you having to rely on on your other senses, you know, your, your sense of perception, all of that stuff. And while Bird Box isn't new, it's still refreshing because you still haven't seen, you know, really anything like this on at, at the movies all right Sandra Bullock Travante Rhodes everyone does a fantastic job the third act is crazy okay now I don't know if you know if you know this but this movie is based on a on a novel okay the I'll tell you I'm not gonna give away the ending 
the ending in the novel is different than the ending in the movie, okay? All right, so just keep that in mind, all right? Another thing that I really didn't like about Bird Box is the, the first act. The action is so immediate and abrupt, it doesn't really build up. There is no build up to the motive as to how and why, all right? But you just go with it. And the action is so intense, I think you can sort of give it a pass. But that's something to think about. If they come out with a part two, maybe? <laughs> hey, listen, for Netflix, man, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this movie, all right? Therefore, I am co-signing Bird Box to the fullest. Bird box. Uh, go ahead with your order. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I like to get a, a two piece bird box with two sides of fries and a uh, chill wine. Uh, I right, pull around for your total. Hey, there you have it, folks. Bird box. Have you seen it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put your comments down south. You can look. <laughs> hey, let me know how you feel about it. And as always. Quit using other people's uh, Netflix accounts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, take your words to the movies. I right? Brian's co-signing. Mm -mm. Ain't no way in the hell I could have done this. Man, I don't even like playing pin the tail on a donkey or doing no mess like this in my bedroom. So, <laughs> hey, man. Uh-uh, this is not me. No.